If you're experiencing back and or radiating leg pain, well, one of the reasons why that may be is because the cushions in your low back are degenerated and worn out and or you have arthritis. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about the various approaches that we can use to replace those degenerated and worn out discs. Hi, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. The intervertebral disc or the cushions in your low back, they reside between each level in your spine from your cervical spine to your thoracic spine to your lumbar spine. These cushions, they're shock absorbers and they reside between two vertebrae in your spine. They provide cushion, they provide height. And if you lose that cushion, that's when pain and or weakness can develop. The cushions are made up of a lot of water. When we're young, these cushions are very healthy. They provide a lot of support. As we get older, we lose the integrity of those discs and they can become painful. And that's called disc degeneration disease. Another thing that can happen as we get older is called spinal stenosis. And this is where that cushion, it wears out and it starts to spit out and it presses on the spinal canal that's right behind this area here. And that can cause severe back and or leg pain. When these cushions wear out, or if you have instability of your spine and or arthritis, this is when we talk about replacing those discs. There are several different ways and approaches that we as spine surgeons can replace the disc. We can go in through the front of the spine, that's called an ALF, anterior lumbar interbody fusion. We can go in through the side of the spine, that's called a lateral interbody fusion. Or we can go posteriorly, it's called a transforaminal interbody fusion or a T-lift. There are many different advantages and disadvantages to each of these ways that we can approach the spine. My preference and what the gold standard is, is to go to the front. This allows us great visualization of the entire disc. We can get a really good clean out of the disc and we can place a really large size cage into this area to get it to fuse. These are examples of various cages that we can use to fuse the spine. This is a cage that is inserted anteriorly, and this is a cage that is inserted posteriorly. You can see the size difference between these cages here. So if we're trying to get a fusion, this is a cage that is my preference, and this is a cage that gives a really solid fusion because of the surface area. It's a large cage, we can get a really good clean out of the disc and place a really large size cage into that area to get it to fuse. So in summary, there are various ways that we can approach and replace the cushions in your low back. If you're experiencing back and or radiating pain down your legs, well, it may be that the cushions are degenerated, causing pain and or arthritis, or it's leading to what's called spinal stenosis, which is when your spinal canal becomes very severely constricted and tight. If you feel like you have any of these symptoms and you would like to have a consultation with me, please visit my website, antoniawebmd.com, and I look forward to meeting you.